Welcome everyone to the first system information session for 2021. Uh, you guys are our new incoming freshmen and we are very excited to have you join us and very excited, looking forward to working with you in the fall. Although for many of you, uh, Trevor will be working with you starting tomorrow. Um, Sarah, next. Just by way of introduction, so my name is Dr. Steven Sue. I am one of the physics professors at Cal State San Marcos. I've been a physics professor here since 2008. I'm also the project director for First System. So basically at the end of the day, if there's anything huge that's really bothering you or anything you want to work on, talk about, you can come to me, happy to do that with you. I am not a California native. I am a transplant from Houston, Texas. I went to the University of Houston, graduated in 2002, did all my degrees there, came here to do physics. Um, I am a full-time physics professor. Um, I am also the chair, the head of the physics department right now. If you're an applied physics major or if you're an electrical engineer, then I'm also kind of in charge of your department and your classes. Um, at San Marcos, most of your professors here, we teach, we do community, things, community service and activities, and we work in labs. We do our own research. So there's some pictures of some students I work with. On the left, the student in my lab, and on the right, some students in my classes. Um, it's a vibrant community. And one thing is all of you are STEM majors. So coming as STEM majors, STEM is a practice sport. You know, it's, it's something that it's not just reading books, doing the homework, it's really doing and exciting opportunities for you to have at San Marcos is to really jump in and do. A lot of computer science majors here, so you have opportunities to program and code with faculty. Engineers can work on electronics, biochemists, we have biochemistry labs, people working on all sorts of, you know, things from genetics to microbials to creating new organic compounds, all sorts of fun things um, involved here. So we're really excited for you to be here. Uh, next. Okay, so what exactly is First STEM? So First STEM is facilitating identity, retention, and successful transition to STEM. Well, what does that mean? So really, we're here to facilitate your success, right? And the focus is your first two years at the university. Um, the first thing that we want to do is create this le learning community of scholars, especially during COVID. It's really hard to, I mean, I mean, you were at high schools. Our incoming freshmen of last year, it was really hard for them to connect, make friends. I mean, you're online. It's really difficult to do, do those sorts of things. We don't ever want you to feel alone at this university. And that's one of the most important things at First System. We're creating this community of scholars. We want all of you to be supportive colleagues, peers, friends of one another, but we're also here to support you. So community is really important to us. So introducing students to STEM professionals, and that's one thing. STEM is not something that you do just by reading and watching a bunch of videos. STEM is something that you learn by doing, by apprenticing yourself. We have a lot of successful alumni. Your professors, those who teach in STEM, also, as I mentioned, do the STEM that they're supposed to do when they're not teaching. Physicists do physics, computer scientists write programs, software engineers, design applications, chemists make compounds. Who am I missing? Mathematicians do a bunch of math that I don't understand. We, these are things that we do on, our, on the side to kind of advance in the profession. And we want you to work with us, become our apprentices in those, those professions. And also most importantly, supporting students through the Mathematics Pathway to Calculus, Math 160. All of you in your classes all of you require Calculus one, And for many, many of disciplines, you really can't get past the intro level of science courses until you've taken Calc 1 and have gotten through. So a big part of our community and a big part of what we do is provide those resources to get you through and get you to and through that calculus, right? We don't ever want you to be in a position where you're feeling left alone. We don't ever want you in the position where you're thinking, oh gosh, all right, I've taken a bunch of these courses, but I still can't take, you know, whatever, Chem 150. 
or Physics 201 until I've gone through that calculus first, all right? So we want to be there with you to make sure that we get you to that calculus as quickly and as successfully as possible. Um, I hope you like our logo. Our logo was designed by one of our first STEM scholars, Maya Rodriguez, last year. I think it's really cute. It really kind of encompasses everything that we do. Very excited. And we have some cool t-shirts with that. So as I said, how do you fit in? And you're in a major that requires Mac 160 before you can really take the bulk of your science courses. So these are the biochemists, the chemists, computer scientists, electrical engineers, mathematicians, physicists slash applied physicists. Click again, because we're missing the software engineers. All right, so that's cool. So this is your community. This is your group. You're going to start out together. Um, in fact, we are enrolling many of you into your first year freshman seminar together as part of our first STEM cohort. Uh, it will be a home base where myself and you'll meet Sarah later on. Um, we're going to essentially introduce you to university, get you settled down, help you with advising, and get you introduced and kind of eased into your respective departments. The goal is by the time you're a junior, after your first two years, you're a junior, you're doing well, and then you will seek mentorship from one of the professors in your department. That, of course, can happen much earlier, but you know, we want to make sure that we stay with you, and then you get to kind of like fly. By the time you're a senior, you'll be working, you'll be working with a professor or having really great relationships with professors in your discipline, and they'll set you up for your first job recommendation or letters to graduate schools. So that's going to be a really fun thing. Okay, so... We're part of CSTEM, College of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And technically, CSTEM is only a couple years old. Um, engineering is only a couple years old at our university and growing and doing really well, really strong. Uh, we pride ourselves on quite a few things. So number one, you don't have classes where there are 200, 500 people in the classroom. Uh, some of you might have friends who went on to other places like UCSD, even San Diego State, where there's like 200, 300 people in the classroom. We don't do that. So our largest classes are about 120. Uh, your largest science class might be 70, but definitely by the time your second, third year, your classes are going to be more like 30, 40 people. And so that's really important. And your classes are taught by professors. So you really have opportunities to really get to know professors here. We're excited about that. You can perform undergraduate research with professors, apprentice yourself to us. Become, what's it, become like Jedi Padawans or something like that. Um, we all have labs. We all do work in our fields and we bring students along with us. These are some pictures of students working in our labs. Um, being able to travel for conferences and do presentations. If you work with us and do research with us, you're able to present on that research and you know, go to conventions, conferences and give professional presentations on the science that you do. When I was an undergraduate, your age, you know, my came from a very blue collar family. We didn't have a lot of money and we didn't really travel much. And I discovered that working with professors and being able to be lucky enough to be part of a physics program where there were opportunities for conference travel and presentation. And really, I got to travel in my early years predominantly because I was doing these work for professors and presenting on that work. And so that's an exciting thing. And one thing that you'll find out, you know, you pick your major thinking, okay, I'm just going to do well in this major. I'm going to learn these skills and I'll be okay. But really, communication skills, writing skills, being able to interact with people, teamwork, those are things that are important to all jobs today. And so these opportunities really help with that. So included in that are also internships and internships with other companies, especially, especially those of you computer science and engineering. Your dream is to get an internship at a company. And when you have an internship at a company while you're a student, then when you graduate, you hope they, they hire you on full time. And there are a lot of companies where most of their employees come from their interns. Right? And then lastly, this is a great university. There are a lot of great student organizations, both in science and outside of science. Um, all the way from our, um, you know, we have a great ACM, which is the Computer Science Club all the way to our um, national champion surf team. So lots of things for you to get involved with when you're at San Marcos. All right, next. Okay, so what is this math pathway that we're talking about? And what does it take to get to Calc 1? 
So there are four classes, and that's why First to Spin is a two-year program. Um, although we do hope that people are able to kind of speed through and get through these classes before your two years are up. The first one is quantitative reasoning, uh, click. So that's ESM 104, Math 101. Some of you will be starting that this summer, okay? It's ESM 105 or Math 105, which is college algebra, okay? And some of you also will be starting that this summer. What we call pre-calculus, we have either Math 126 or Math 125. Math 126 is usually what you'll be taking. And then lastly, you know, the goal is to Calc 1, which is Math 160. So these are the four classes that you have to take. And so if you're in a summer program, in the Early Start program, for instance, you move ahead by one. So those of you who were told that you need to be in ESM 104 at the end of summer, you'll be able to take Math 105 in the fall. Those of you taking ESM 105, you'll be able to take Math 126 in the fall, et cetera. Um, and then Sarah, a little bit later on, will talk about the Math Placement Exam to see in case there's a way to get you to calculus even sooner. So first system, our goal is to support you, you know, help you along with your success, get you through this math pathway. And we have a bunch of different supports for you, anywhere from tutoring, from some textbook purchasing. And then probably the most important thing, most valuable thing is really the advising, uh, especially Sarah does a fantastic job. So I'm going to let Sarah introduce herself and tell her more about what you have in store and some of the expectations of you as a STEM major here at San Marcos. So Sarah, take it away. Cool, thank you, Stephen. So yeah, hi, I'm Sarah Sandoval. Um, I'm actually from the Coachella Valley, like I mentioned earlier. So I'm from Palm Springs, like Indio area. Um, I did come here to San Diego to do my undergraduate degree in ecology, evolution, and behavior. And then I later did my master's in biology at UC San Diego. So I kind of just stayed here. I've been here for a while now. Uh, so yeah, I am your first system coordinator. What that basically means is I'm your point of contact. So anything you ever need, I'm the person you reach out to. Um, I'm your, also your personal advisor, which is really cool. So we do have advisors at the school that you can go to. You can make appointments with them um, through your student center and whatnot, but also you have me. So sometimes it's hard to get appointments, especially your really busy times like enrollment or during the summer. So I'm definitely here for you. Um, you can email me anytime. A couple of you actually in this meeting have emailed me already, so you know I'm always here for you guys. Um, yeah, basically I've been here in San Diego for a while. I studied bees as an undergraduate, so my interest is insects. Um, I like to go hiking. I love to go to the zoo. I worked at the zoo a couple summers ago, uh, and I did a lot of research, so I kind of understand from like the student perspective. I did research as an undergraduate and as an undergrad or and a graduate student, I kind of know the difference there. Um, and it was a great opportunity. So if you ever want to talk about bees or insects or research, definitely let me know. So yeah, Stephen mentioned the math placement exam. So I do want to say that things have changed this year, but basically it's, it is recommended if you think you're ready to take calculus. So you would only take this exam if you think you're ready to take it, like for calculus. So you don't wanna do it if you're a little unsure, maybe like your last class in high school, you took like algebra, where we want you to be like confident and make sure that you can get into calculus. So in a good example is if you complete pre-calculus or calculus in high school, you should probably take this exam. So it is made up of like an online training module and it has five total practice tests that you can do but in the beginning, what we want you to do is there's two. And so I think right now I read, there's like a whole FAQ on their website if you go to the link below. Um, I think they give you like a 24 hour time, lim time limit, but it shouldn't take you that long. But as soon as you do those like two practice, you're gonna give us your scores. You need 70% to get into Math 160. So 70% or above. So that's why you wanna know your scores. We wanna see where you are before you take the actual exam. So to take the actual exam, it has to be proctored. So it costs extra, but that's something we can cover. And so that is what determines your placement. So you just can't take the third exam with no proctor. It won't count. So you, you have to make sure. So definitely let us know that you are ready to take that proctored exam because we want, we want it to count. We don't want you to take it and then it doesn't count. That would be awful. Um, right now we're putting a deadline as we want you to do it by August 14th. So you have the entire summer 
Um, some of you are in early start classes. So if you'd like, you can take it after your early start class. Um, you can start studying for it now. We have tutors available, which Trevor will talk about after. Um, but yeah, we just want to make sure before you get into school, you know, school starts like August 30th, August 31st. We don't want you to be stressed and try to find placement into your math class. So August 14th is a good de deadline. And like I said, you have access to her STEM tutoring and uh, we can purchase that stuff for you. So you don't have to pay anything extra. Please, please don't pay anything extra right now. Uh, but contact us if you have any questions about the math placement. And like I said, down below is a link. You can click on it after. Um, and I can send it out too. But if you just Google it, it should pop up. And uh, it will tell you everything you need to know. There's like a whole FAQ. Okay. So we actually have a lot going on this summer. So the first thing, tomorrow, Trevor will start the math boot camp. So you're gonna have access to like materials. Um, it's Trevor's gonna talk about it more, so I'm not gonna cover it all, but basically it's to prep you for your next math course here at Cal State San Marcos. Um, and the tutors will be around also, so it's super helpful. Definitely sign up if you haven't already. A lot of you have already signed up, but it's from June 15th to June 25th. Uh, we talked about the early start program a little bit. So like Steven said, you're either gonna start in ESM 104 or ESM 105. So that was the Math 101 or Math 105. You're gonna have tutoring support for the course. Actually, ESM 104, there's like tons of tutors, same with 105. So we want you to sign up as soon as possible. You can take it on our campus. It is in person. You can also take it at another Cal State. Um, so if that's easier for you, some of them are online, some of them are still face-to-face, -face, but maybe it's closer to where you live, definitely go for that. If you have any questions about the Early Start program, just ask me. Um, we could try and figure out how to get you enrolled, but we want you to do it as soon as possible, because like Steven said, it will make sure you're like one step ahead in your major. Uh, we're going to do an enrollment workshop that's actually coming up the end of this week, I think. So you all enroll, I'll talk about it more, but you all enroll June, like starting June 21st, June 22nd. And I know you go to orientation, but they don't go over that in orientation. You kind of take on that responsibility and like learn yourself. They have tons of resources. If you need those resources, you can just uh, let me know. I have all the videos. They have like YouTube videos, super helpful. So we'll actually go like over it. Um, and it's really helpful. You'll have somebody go over step-by-step how to look at your degree planner, um, how to add classes to your course or to your shopping cart and stuff. So definitely check your student center. That's like the first thing to do for your date. And then of course, we'll reach out to you for advising and other events. So check your emails, check your school emails for sure. Check your Cal State San Marcos emails. That's how we're gonna start contacting you. But what about the fall? So like Stephen mentioned, you should now be enrolled in a GEL 101 course. So that's where the community aspect comes in. So Stephen and I will be teaching that course. Um, like Stephen said, it's like a transitional course helping you go from high school to university to how to be successful here. So you should all be enrolled in that. Um, you can double check, but it should be on your student center. So that's in the fall. You'll also be introduced to faculty and staff of, of our CSEM college. You'll be assigned a peer mentor. Uh, there's one here tonight, Mary. So uh, Mary is a tutor and she's a peer mentor. So she's gonna, they will connect with you over the year. And like, you can just go with them for any questions, you know, they're students. So they might have more in-depth stuff maybe we can't help you with. It's just someone that has been through what, you're, what you've been through or what you're going to go through. We're gonna be bringing working STEM professionals to speak with you. So like Stephen mentioned, lots of alumni. We have um, people in the industry, local industry. I know some people like, I know a lot of biochem and chemistry majors are interested in health. So I know, I, I know a lot of healthcare people. There will be people coming to you to talk about your major. You will continue to read to, uh, tutoring support. So you have tutors this summer, you'll have tutors the entire year, not just fall. So fall and spring. And then of course, I'll be your advisor. So we'll have advising services. So we can check, check on you, right? We can make sure you're on track, taking the right classes. Uh, maybe you have to take a class somewhere else. Like I can literally help you with anything with your courses. Um, and I'll reach out to you constantly too. <laughs> you'll, you'll get emails from me. Um, we just wanna make sure like you have all the support that you possibly can to be successful. 
Oh, and so on that note, um, I'll have Adam talk. He kind of does like the administrative stuff. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Adam Peterson. Um, I am the Director of Strategic Initiatives for Academic Success in Undergraduate Studies. Um, that's sort of a, a, a long title that that just sort of means my job, my day-to-day -day job is to try and um, figure out ways to help you guys graduate. Um, that's that's really what I'm all about is trying to, trying to make sure that you guys can get through, um, get through your degree programs and get your degrees. Um, so uh, my background is actually in political science um, and my doctorate is in uh, educational leadership. So I actually, um, I, my research and my research interest is college students. And basically what I do is uh, my research interest is how do I, how, how do we increase graduation rates? How do we get students to graduate from college? Um, and so that's what I'm, I'm, that, that's, that's what I'm all about. Um, so uh, I am, uh, I, with uh, Dr. Sue, um, I, I help write this grant that supports this program. Um, and so I, uh, we, uh, we, we wrote this originally because we were, we were, we're trying to get students, um, uh, we're, we're trying to get students STEM degrees, um, and, and this is a program designed to help you do that. Um, what my job is for first to STEM, um, is I'm, I'm mostly for you guys, uh, going to be in the background. Um, I'll be doing things like setting up your classes, um, trying to get you guys, uh, make those classes available to you. Um, Sarah's gonna help you get enrolled in them, but I, I will, I, I'm gonna do the behind the scenes work to make sure that you guys can get into the things that you need to get into. Um, so I'm doing a lot of um, sorting in the background. Um, so you probably won't see me very much during the first year. Um, one of the things though, uh, this is a two year program. And so I will hopefully get to spend more time with you um, in your second year. Um, my actual dissertation is about second year students. It's about what happens during the second year of college. And so like, that's my, I, th those are, that's really what I'm super interested in um, is what you guys, what, what you guys do after your freshman um, and you're, you get to your second year and then you're just starting into your major. Um, that's where I'm going to come in and, and do some work with you guys next year. Um, so uh, I'm excited to do that eventually. Um, one thing I, I want to mention, I, I, I'm, I'm looking at the participant list tonight. Um, we actually, we did some in, enrollment in that GEL class that Sarah talked about. Um, uh, it, it, I think her last slide said, said, you are already enrolled in GEL. It's probably only about half of you at this point um, are, are actually enrolled in it. We're, we're, still, we're, we're still going through the enrollment right now and enrolling you. Um, and then some of you are going to be um, uh, just about, we're going to make sure that every single one of you is in a GEL class. Um, it, it might not necessarily be taught by, um, by, by a first SEM person. Um, so there's a couple of you that are in some other specialized programs like EOP or SSS, um, uh, or, or, and some of you are actually on a, on a, on a chemistry and biochemistry grant too. And so there's some other special programs that you're going to be involved in. One of the things, um, Sarah already has this up, but I, I will just make a mention. I'm sure she has more to say on this, but I will just make a mention that, that none of these things are exclusive. Um, you, you are allowed to be in everything. Um, they're, they're, you, you don't have to worry about um, whether or not uh, being in a part of EOP means you can't be first to STEM or being first to STEM means you can't be part of camp. You can be everything. Um, the, nothing is exclusive here. Um, all of these things are designed to help you. And so um, be a part of everything you possibly can. That's what we suggest um, because all of these things are gonna get you the resources that you need. Okay, back to you, Sarah. Thank you, Adam. Yeah, so like, basically what Adam said, if you're in these other programs and there's so many lists, I didn't list, but these are like the big ones we have, it's totally fine to join our program. There's just gonna be multiple layers of support. So we get multiple emails from all of us. Um, so it's no big deal. You can totally do both. Or I know someone that's doing three, so definitely feel free to do that. Oh, okay, so that leads us into our last little section. So I'm gonna introduce Trevor Ryback. So he's our math coordinator. So go ahead, take it away, Trevor. Oh, thank you so much, Sarah. Well, hello guys. Uh, so kind of uh, what Adam said and uh, just making sure you guys have the resources uh, you need. Uh, my job as math coordinator is to make sure you guys have the academic resources you need, uh, whether it be in the form of tutoring, uh, some supplemental workshops for your math classes, um, or setting up just study times, a study plan with you guys. So I'm all about uh, kind of uh, uh, 
organizing our tutoring services and making them available uh, to you guys. So, um, so I, I kind of had two hats on this campus. So my first is uh, I'm the first STEM math coordinator. So I run the, the special uh, tutoring offered specifically only to uh, first to STEM scholars. Uh, so you guys get some like priority access tutoring there. Um, and then my other hat is I am a math coordinator of the STEM Success Center, which is the uh, free science tutoring center at Cal State San Marcos, which is awesome too. So they tutor all of your uh, undergraduate uh, science courses, science and math courses. So, um, so uh, come to me if you are looking for uh, tutoring support. Um, also, what I like to do with uh, first to STEM scholars is I want to I want to get to know you guys, meet you guys, uh, kind of see where you're at, and uh, and if you're interested, set up kind of regular a regular study plan where you can make sure that you get access to tutoring when you guys need it and uh, for your classes. So that's a big part of it. Um, a little bit about me: I got my my bachelor's in mathematics from Cal State San Marcos, so I'm an alumni, and I'm also a current graduate student uh, in the master's in mathematics program at CSUSM. Um, I was a tutor at the STEM Success Center uh, for three years in my undergraduate, which is how I led to this work in kind of uh, working in education and living it. Um, so I guess that's uh, uh, about me. So I guess uh, we can go on to the next slide. So like I said, part of my job is to make sure that you guys have support available. So in that uh, we hire uh, specific tutors um, that, uh, that support you guys directly as first to STEM scholars. So uh, as you'll see, we, we have, so these are some, uh, some of our uh, mentors, not, not quite all of them, but uh, uh, Enrique is a mathematics major. Um, <laughs> his bio makes me laugh. Uh, I'll, I'll, I, I won't, I won't uh, read these all uh, for you. You know what I will, why not? Uh, Enrique is just a dude who majored in a major because others didn't want to here trying to help you pass your courses and enjoy the ride. So he wants to be a math teacher when he grows up. And then we have Luna, who is a computer science major who tutors math. Um, she's currently a sophomore at Cal State San Marcos. She is actually a first to STEM scholar herself who became a mentor. So that's a really cool thing about this program is uh, uh, she, she showed, uh, she kind of reached out, showed that she was doing really well in her math courses and showed that, uh, that she, she set the example of like reaching out and seeking support. So, so I wanted her to kind of work in a role where she can show you guys how to do that as well. So she's one of your mentors. Uh, she loves being outdoors and doing activities like snowboarding, surfing, and painting. And then Mireya uh, is a applied physics major. Um, and she, uh, she loves physics, especially mechanics and sound. Uh, and as a fourth generation musician, she's played at the uh, Del Mar Fair. I, th I think that's a really rad uh, kind of thought. She's into art. Um, I do want to uh, uh, kind of afford this to Mary Floor, who is with us today, and she's one of our mentors as well. So I want to give her a chance to introduce herself if she would like. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Mary Floor. I am an applied physics major. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm really into art as well, so I love math and and art, you know. Um, yeah, so I look forward to working with you guys, taking um, the math classes and the computer science classes and the physics classes, so. Yeah. Mary Floor has, uh, has taken everything. She's, uh, she's, uh, loves science, though. Uh, future, uh, future physics teacher. Um, but yeah, so, so like I said, part of the job is just making sure that you guys have access to tutoring. So you can go to the STEM Success Center, it's totally free. Uh, part of uh, what we do in First to STEM is uh, we have specific First to STEM tutors so that when you go to the center, it's, you can get with a tutor immediately. You don't have to have wait time. And it also gives you someone to connect to, someone to network with who has kind of been in your shoes not too long ago. So uh, you get that little bit of uh, um, kind of experience from a fellow student where you can ask questions and uh, if, if you don't want to go to, uh, to, to me. <laughs> but yeah, so my, my job is to make sure you guys are just supported uh, 
from the uh, math and academics side. Uh, we work um, we work under uh, LTS, so that's going to be all of the learning and tutoring centers at Cal State San Marcos. So um, if you have any questions about getting uh, tutoring for a non-STEM course or a uh, um, or in writing, we have a writing center available. We have an academic success center, and there are other centers throughout the campus. So if you have any questions like, hey, I'm struggling in this class, or I'm a little worried about this class, let me know, and, uh, and we'll find something to support you there. And now, okay, thank you. Cool. So uh, our first official uh, math support that we are offering to you guys is the Math Boot Camp. Math Boot Camp is kind of a preparatory course uh, to get you ready for early start. And what I mean by get you ready is to introduce you to the uh, kind of the content uh, and the services that uh, basically the content, the, um, the tools and the services that you will be using in your early start course. And what I mean by tools is um, it's going to be on Cougar courses, which is what you will be using for your your, uh, if you're in early start, it's what you're gonna be using for your uh, kind of, uh, basically it's your course hub online uh, and you'll use that in the fall and in summer. So, um, so this is gonna show you kind of how, how to navigate that site. Um, and by services, I mean uh, how to get access to tutoring services. If you're struggling in your early start classes, I wanna make sure that you know how to reach out and get a hold of a tutor uh, and uh, basically everything along there. So another big part of it is just a review of math concepts that'll get you ready for early start. So um, ESM 104 and Math 105 are kind of uh, in, in the range of like college algebra, algebra two uh, uh, kind of level of math. So I'll, we're just going to review the topics to get you guys prepped so that you guys feel more confident going into that early start course. Uh, it basically, it's a little review of all of the pieces uh, that will make up ESM 104 and Math 105 to get you kind of that head start. Uh, the dates for this is, uh, so it's starting this week and ends next week. So it's just a two week uh, kind of course before early start. So it's uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays um, from 6.15 to 6.25. Um, it will be uh, kind of uh, offered both in person and online which, for your guys' convenience. So um, there are two separate times, just because I wanted to make it work with everyone's schedules. There's a option in the morning from 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. and then an option from 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Uh, and in this course, basically, we're gonna go through some lecture stuff, do a lot of practice, review, uh, and then kind of show you how to use these sites and, uh, and how to get access to tutoring and stuff. So um, it's just to, to get you guys like uh, started on the right path, uh, um, so if you have any questions, feel free to email me. I'm going to drop the sign up into, uh, the chat. I'm going to drop, uh, actually two things into the chat. I'm going to drop the flyer, which uh, I've probably emailed to you, but just so you can look at it here, uh, it has all this information, um, on the flyer. And then I will put the sign up link. I have about a couple of you guys signed up. I have a, a little bit of you guys signed up. Uh, but if you're interested, uh, here is the RSVP link. Like I said, it's uh, uh, offered both online and in person. And the two times are 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Cool. So um, our online tutoring. Uh, so throughout the summer, the, the STEM Success Center is open from uh, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. This is actually the schedule from last summer. I, I forgot to update this, I'm sorry guys. Uh, but um, what's nice about the first to STEM tutoring is uh, we have uh, tutors from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. but then we also have some floating hours. So you tell me when you want to get tutoring for your uh, ESM 104, Math 105 or Math Placement exam and we will find a tutor for you. So it's a little more flexible in that regard. So uh, if you wanna set up a study uh, schedule, for example, for the math placement exam, maybe you're planning on taking that before your early start course, uh, email me uh, and just say, hey, you're interested. We'll set up a time, we'll meet, uh, and we'll coordinate a regular time for you to uh, meet with the tutors or even myself and, um, and get you the support you need. 
uh, enrollment starts uh, uh, the week of June 21st. So you guys uh, should be able to see um, your, uh, basically your enrollment uh, date should be coming up on your MyCSUSM. So uh, if you go to mycsm.edu uh, and kind of enter with your, the same, uh, the same credentials you'd use to get into your uh, email, uh, if you go to the student center, then you can see uh, when you can start registering for classes. Um, we are doing a enrollment workshop to get you prepped for that. So like, like Sarah mentioned earlier, we're gonna go over uh, how to use the degree planner, how to look for the specific classes you'll need for your major, kind of how to, how to shop around, if you will. Um, and, then, um, and then how to actually enroll in those courses. And, and we know that there's step-by-step -step stuff uh, kind of online, but it can get confusing and it's nice to just do it in, in a room with, with us. So if you have any like specific questions, uh, then we can answer those. Or if you wanna take a specific class, we can make sure you get into the one that, uh, that you want. So, um, so uh, that is going to be this Friday. So June 18th from four to 5 p.m. Um, and Oh, and there's a note to check your degree planner to see what courses you'll be taking uh, in this fall. So uh, the degree planner basically outlines what classes you should take which semester. It's a general plan to make sure you, you're hitting all of your requirements. Uh, go in, in there and check out what uh, courses uh, you, you'll be taking, and then you can kind of shop around for courses as we get uh, to the enrollment workshop. And, and if you can't make it to this enrollment workshop, I do want to mention, feel free to, um, to message Sarah or myself, uh, probably Sarah, but, but I am also uh, putting, putting it out there um, uh, to uh, meet with us and, and we'll help you with enrollment. We're happy to do so. Cool, thank you, Trevor. Yeah, just like he said, definitely reach out to us if you can't make it. Um, I will be around that week, so. We could plan. It's good to go, like Trevor said, go and look at your degree planner ahead of time, just so you're not super confused, right? You don't want to show up or log on and then you're going to enroll in like an hour and you haven't even looked at like what courses. You know what I mean? It's just really stressful. I've done that before as an undergraduate student. We don't want you to do that. It's way too stressful. It's way better if you can plan ahead. Cool. Oh, so... As we all said, we're super open to you guys contacting us. So you can email, um, we have an email address that goes to all of us. So if you have any general questions, even after this meeting, you can email us there. Uh, we do have a Microsoft Teams. Uh, I'll probably send an email asking you to join. So we'll have like updates, I'll post events. Sometimes I post what's going on like on campus. So it's just another way uh, as we go into fall, we'll talk about Teams more, but you could definitely join our Microsoft team and like message us. That's another thing that's really cool about it. Uh, you can make appointments. You could be like, hey, Sarah, I want to enroll like this week. Like, can you help me? Like rather than send an email, I'm pretty quick on Teams. Um, and then of course, I'll, I'll list all our emails uh, and send that to you guys as well. So, but I also have all our roles here. All right, so I think you're hearing quite a few things. So, so our biggest thing is Again, come to us. We, we want to support you. We don't want you to be alone. I don't care how tiny the question is, right? Ask us that question. So this first system at csusm.edu email that goes out to all of us or any of us directly, we're here for you. Absolutely. So, um, and especially one thing that we're offering you, the fact that you have access primarily to Sarah, but also to myself, this advising that we offer and this one-on-one -on -one We'll set up a math tutor schedule for you through Trevor. These are things that other students at this university don't get access to. So this is something special that's just for you. All right, so please make use of it and communicate with us. And another thing that we have to tell everybody, um, your Cougars email that you get from the university, that will be the primary way that the university and your professors and all of us communicate with you. So getting into the habit of checking that Cougar's email every day is gonna be really important. I know, I think in high school, not everyone worries about their email so much, but at the university, email's a big, really big deal. So, um, but we are absolutely here for you. Um, 
any questions or, or comments about that? And oh, the picture's the academic hall. Uh, if you don't know, San Marcos, sometimes we're nicknamed CSU Stairmaster. There are a lot of steps. About 50, about half of uh, the campus will have in-person classes. Other half will be online. So there's gonna be a mix this fall. And then in the spring, we expect to be fully back in person. Although we always have a, a sprinkling of online courses as well. But we definitely want you in the science buildings, in the labs, playing with the equipment, messing around with the toys. So um, any questions or comments from anybody? I'll, I'm gonna pause right now and, and throw it in the chat if you want or unmute your mic, anything you'd like to ask? I had a question. Go ahead. Um, for the uh, class, um, I, I saw that um, you guys enrolled me in the, uh, one of the classes uh, for the fall. Um, I was actually invited to take that class um, by EOP online. Um, today I received the message. And so um, being that most of the classes that I'm picking are gonna be in line for me on, uh, for the fall and summer, uh, wanted to see if it was okay, uh, if I can go ahead and take the EOP one and get that one out of the way to kind of help clear up my schedule. So at least I'm able to knock out um, that and the uh, early start math um, out of the way, if that'd be okay with your permission. Yeah, um, Dr. Peterson gave a thumbs up. We were doing that default thing, but the EOP GL is an excellent GL. So yeah, absolutely. Um, Adam, you wanna say anything about that or? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, you're and so you're going to be doing that in the summer. Yeah, they they I had asked about it and um, they wanted me to focus on math, so I'm doing math right now at San Jose State, and so now um, they sent me a message because uh, I asked them to put me on the on the list in case somebody dropped out. So she reached out to me today and I told her yeah to be interested in it, and so when she went in there to try to put me in, she saw that you guys had me already uh, in there for fall. So I emailed her back and I told her, um, being that your your guys' uh, classes and their classes uh, for that course in the fall are gonna be in person, I'm actually doing my courses online. And so I'd really be interested in continuing to take that course uh, in the summer online. Yeah, that'd be great. Go ahead and do that. Now I'll, um, I'll reach out to EOP and get, it, and get it sorted out for you. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. No problem. And I love the Tech Museum. And one of the best nights of my life was a professional party at the Tech Museum. So I we do have a fun portion to this event. Um, and we I think we're also going to try to plan for those of you who can make it and also an in-person event in August. Um, after August 2nd, things become a little bit more free for the campus. So there'll be more opportunities to, to interact with us virtually through the summer into the fall, but also definitely in person as well. Um, I actually teach summer school. I have to go teach night class right now. So I will leave it to the rest of the gang for a uh, scavenger hunt bingo. This is, sounds like fun. I think there's some prizes involved. So again, if you need anything, just let us know. 